Hey guys, and welcome back to another Factorio Mod Spotlight. I'm Exterminator, and thanks for joining me. Today we are going to cover the Creative Mode mod. Uh, someone suggested I do this, and I think it's definitely past time that I did. So, we're in the menu here because we are going to start off with a new game, since there's a couple options we need to discuss right off the bat. So, if you have the mod enabled, which we do, you go to start a new game. Um, that is normal. You're greeted with this message. And you have some options. You can choose no, um, and if you do, it won't be uh, be enabled at this point, but there is a command uh, which you can find in the forum post for the mod, which will be linked in the description. Um, but there's a command for it that you can then enable it later, as well as other commands, which again will be in that forum post. You can just enable it now. You can say no permanently, so that no one will ever be able to enable it in this game. Um, or enable it with cheats. I'm going to enable it with cheats, because that just gives us everything it it has to offer. So we're going to say yes. And you can see now I run fast. Um, my mining speed is like instant, essentially. Um, and we have this creative mode menu up here. So we're going to go over this part really briefly and then the actual items and stuff it adds. So cheats, um, you can just look over these yourself. But, you know, cheat mode, which allows you to just spawn in infinite items, kind of like the command for cheat mode. Um, invincible. We're invincible, uh, instant request, and instant trash. So when you put something in your trash, it'll just instantly disappear. And when you request something, it'll just instantly appear in your inventory. Um, you can toggle these on and off, reach distance, mining speed, running speed, god mode, on or off. Um, team cheats, which you can do for stuff like that. Railgun is enabled. Um, surface, so always day, you can turn that on or off. You can see down there. Uh, peaceful mode is off, kill enemies, remove all enemies, don't generate enemies, um, and then game settings. Uh, this is our evolution, and you can actually change this. So if I just go in here and say OK, you can see down there it changed. Evo time factor, destroy factor, pollution factor, you can change all this. Just pretty much endless options. Magic wands, creator, healer, modifier. Um, so I'll go over the wands in a minute, but you can select what it does here. Um, you can select what that does, so on and so forth. Um, admin gives you all these admin options as well. Magic wand healer free, admin only. So this kind of tells you know what things are allowed for admins or not. Um, but the main part of the stuff is a it lets you spawn in infinite stuff, but then also you have a whole new menu here with all these items. So I'm gonna try to go over these fairly briefly so the video isn't too long. But essentially we have a creative chest and a creative passive or provider chest. Um, the creative chest just has every single item in the game and uh, essentially infinite amounts of it, right? It, it's one stack, like whatever it stacks to, but if you pull something out, you can see that it just instantly restocks, like you could just do this all day. Um, and then this one empty slot down here is, <clears throat> excuse me, actually for emptying items. So like this is like a void thing. I can stick them in there, it'll eat them up. And then your passive and then your provider one is literally the same, but for tying into logistics networks. So it's like a passive provider um, that robots can pull from pretty much infinitely. Uh, very nice there. Um, a duplicating chest and then the passive provider version. Um, I won't show the provider version again because it's literally the same, but a provider. Um, what this does is this will duplicate any item that you put in this first slot. So if I stick wood in here, boom, we have a chest of wood. Um, I have to reset it. But I mean, you can do whatever you want to do with this with. Um, but if I think you have, you have to reset it because you see I put that in there. Um, actually, you just have to move the items, right? So as long as these are taken out, it'll do that with the new item. So very cool. Again, the provider is the same thing, just a provider. We have a void requester chest and a void storage chest. The requester chest um, is literally just a requester chest, but um, the items just disappear. It's like that that void slot in these. Um, the whole chest is like that. So you can pretty much request items and it won't fill up the chest. Um, they'll just dis be requested, brought here, and then just disappear. Um, so it's kind of an infinite request uh, dump. And then same with the void storage chest. Robots will bring stuff to storage and it'll just disappear. So we have a super loader. Um, you, you notice this actually un unlocks loaders as well. Um, but the super loader will pretty much just fully compress like anything. Uh, it it just, I mean, its output is enough to compress anything. So we have a blue belt. Um, what you need to do is actually like like a loader would be is you need to have a chest here with something. 
um, in the dev of the mod in the post on the forum says that a good way to do this is like using a duplication chest or whatever, um, or a normal chest, but if you stick one in here um, and just do this, you'll have infinite infinite plate um, that it'll do, because it actually pulls from the chest. You can see down here, it actually pulls from it. So that's why a duplication thing is nice. But uh, yeah, there's that. Uh, but the, the other option to that is some stuff will go on, uh, go over down here. But we also have a creative cargo wagon, um, which is the same as this chest. It's just cargo wagon, same with the duplicating one and the void one. And then we have fluid source and fluid void. And these are really cool because what this does is pretty much exactly what like a spawn belt would do, except it's for liquids. So if we take that and take like a chest or a uh, tank rather, and actually line it up, um, these are vanilla fluids. It will tie into mods, I believe, is what the forum post says. Is it pretty much just detects any liquids in the game. So if you have a mod that adds liquids, this will be able to work with them. Um, if you just tell it like whatever, it'll just fill this up. Seems about to do about 50 a second. Uh, and then the void one actually does a bit more than that. Uh, You'll see that this is now actually going down. The void pulls out and just disappears it uh, more than this puts in. But that's kind of what that does. So you can do, you know, throughput tests, whatever you want to do with that. Very cool. Um, we have these super boilers. So this one will instantly heat the water to the uh, maximum temperature. This one will cool it down to default temperature. And the configurable super boiler uh, quickly heats fluids up or cools fluids down to set the temperature. It has a fuel slot, but it doesn't need fuel to run. I messed with this, I couldn't get it to work. Uh, like, you're supposed to be able to set the temperature or something, um, but I don't seem to be able to. Maybe it's in the menu. Uh, I'm sure you guys can figure it out. But there's that one. I mean, really, I think you would only use like one of these two for most purposes. And then down here, we have a matter source, a matter duplicator, and a matter void. So the matter source is essentially just a spawn belt. Um, you stick this here. It'll fill up anything that can take an item essentially so i mean it'll fill up a chest it'll fill up a belt um what you do is you go in here and you set the filter now a quick note if you're doing belts for this each one of these is a lane for the belt so if i do like this it's only going to do that one lane so if you want a full belt um you just need to set the same thing in both filters and you're going to go again this is just infinite it'll do this forever uh you could just do a chest though too um you can see how it's filling it up for something like this, you may just want to do like a duplication chest or something, but if you need something like that, there you go. It'll do it, you know, fill up a car, wagon, whatever you want. Um, and there's the icons for stuff too. And then the matter duplicator, this thing will duplicate like items or fluids in front of it. So um, the dev post says that this is good for like duplicating the creative mode mods um, because you, you can't really do that in like a duplication chest I don't believe is what it said so like if I stick this in here you can't actually do that so there's one option um the other thing you could do is just like stick down a chest right and then just put in whatever you want and it just does it like even faster so that's what that'll do um the matter void is pretty much just a void um face the line towards the belt or whatever it may be obviously I turn that off, but there you go. So that'll just eat it infinitely. Um, and then we have power. We have pretty much an infinite power source. Uh, it'll just, it's a huge amount. 5.1 PW, uh, which it, I don't even know what that stands for, but it's enough to supply anything. Um, so this guy is active. So essentially this will just always output maximum power. Um, and then we have a passive one, which only operates if your primary power source can't keep up so like if you're using steam engines or solar and those can't keep up then this will keep it uh kick in rather to make up the difference so that is quite nice we have a void one an active void one which will just always pull the 4.1 um bw and then we have a passive energy void um which essentially just will pull any excess energy you're producing and then we have a massive power pull so if we do that and we like uh, so here's the instant trash slots. These just go into the trash and just disappear. Um, but if we like take this and stick it here, um, you can see that 
this actually pulls more than this generates barely. Um, so you can see that we're a little low, but then if we like throw in the active one or the passive one, um, you can see now we have excess and it's making up the difference essentially. So that's how that works. Very nice. Um, almost done here. Magic wand. Um, that's what we talked about in the menus there. This uh, just lets you do like math, massive swaths of whatever you can do ores, water. I mean, you can set it up in that menu I showed you at the beginning. So very nice. A healing wand, which will just heal entities and such. And a modifier um, down there, it says select objects and then modify them precisely. Alternate mode, quickly apply mod of, uh, modifications recorded from the standard mode. So, um, so like these, I, I guess like I can get rid of them. I can turn on and off stuff. You guys can play around with this, but that's what that does. Almost there. Um, you can spawn in enemies, worms, spawners, and then these guys will attract um, enemies to come build a base. So like we'll go with a medium one. It'll attract 20 aliens to the area to build a base and it may take a minute but if I put that down you'll see in a, mi a few minutes or a minute that they'll come build there wherever that was up here. Um, and then these are just your liquids for the action for the fluid thing. And there you go guys. Hopefully that wasn't too long. I just wanted to kind of give you a demonstration of each thing. Um, very cool you know if you want oh here they come. <laughs> Uh, if they don't get stuck or kill my stuff on the way, but um, yeah, they're going to head over here and build a base. Anyway, so, you know, if you want to do testing or something, this is a fantastic mod for that, or if you just want to play the game, like, and just, you know, kind of cheat, just have infinite stuff, or whatever you want to do, excellent mod. As always, linked down in the description to the mod uh, portal, as well as the forum post for it. The forum post has a lot more info than the mod portal thing. Um, but the portal's where you download it. So, well, there's a worm they just made. Um, but anyway, that'll do it, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful. And any feedback, suggestions, comments, if I missed anything huge or something, uh, do let me know. As well as any future uh, suggestions for spotlights would be great. But until next time, I look forward to seeing you all, and do take care.